Next up, pet health insurance. Is it worth investing in? One expert weighs in on different plans to consider and whether or not a furry friend pet policy is for you. My name is Matt Roach. I'm the Trupangan Territory Partner for Central New York. Trupangan is a pet health insurance company and we help our clients budget for uh, unforeseen accidents and illness. What is pet health insurance? Pet health insurance helps uh, a pet owner budget for veterinary necessities that they may not be able to see coming. So if your pet is sick or injured, um, pet health insurance comes to the rescue then. Uh, these days, a lot more people are considering their pets to be members of the family. These are our furry family members, so we provide for them accordingly. Pet insurance behaves like uh, a, a lot of insurances that people are used to already. Um, it's considered property and casualty insurance, so it behaves a lot like any other property casualty insurance you might have. Um, so you pay your deduct or you pay your premiums, um, and then when uh, a problem arises, you go and get the problem taken care of at the veterinarians, and then we can either reimburse you. And in a lot of cases with Trupangan in particular, we pay the hospital directly. Most vets are willing to accept pet health insurance. They really want to provide the very best care that they possibly can for every pet that goes to the door. And sometimes financial barriers are there and insurance really gets rid of those barriers for them and they can do all of their work the right way and provide the very top level care to their clients. What pet health insurance shouldn't be is wellness. People can budget for their wellness needs. They know that you need shots, you know you need your vaccines, you know you need your spay and neuter, your annual exams and your exam fees and things like that. These are known costs. What pet health insurance should be covering are the unforeseeable things that come up. You know, some people, you have no idea that your pet's gonna be a diabetic or get cancer or Cushing's disease or many other things that pets can be afflicted with that uh, can be very dangerous to them. And those are the things that can become very, very expensive and very difficult to budget for. So pet health insurance uh, really takes the edge off of all of those fears and you can just have a happy, healthy life with your pet. When looking into pet insurance, you can ask your vet. The vet is a, uh, a they're the people who are used to dealing with it a lot. Um, I also recommend just calling the companies. The companies are going to be, get, be able to give you the most complete information for sure. Um, you can get a decent opinion from a vet for sure though. When you're buying a pet insurance policy, my best advice would be to really get a good look at the policy. They're worth reading. They're worth ordering a copy of and getting them in front of you so you can see them. Are they simple or do they seem complicated? The complicated ones uh, will usually include things like breed specific exclusions. That's one thing I always warn to look out for, breed specific exclusions. So um, will your pet be covered uh, you need to know that. I would also recommend that you really get to know the deductible scheme. An inexpensive insurance policy can seem inexpensive at first, um, so the deductible scheme will make a difference though because if they are asking you to pay your deductible one time, that's not a big deal, but if they're asking you to pay your deductible every single year, well, that could increase the cost of the insurance in the long run to a, a, a level that isn't as value laden as it may have seemed at the, at the outset. Are there types of treatments that your insurance doesn't cover? Are diagnostics covered? Are medicines covered? Are surgeries covered? Are there certain times when they're not covered? Is there a reason that the insurance company could change its mind? Pay attention to whether your insurance company that you're selecting is renewing your policy every, every year. If they're renewing the policy every year, you really wanna make sure that all of your conditions that they were once covering, they will still be covering into the, into the next year. With pet health insurance, there are not currently any companies who cover pre-existing conditions. The best way to not have a pre-existing condition is to make sure that you get uh, health insurance for your pet as early as possible. When you get a new puppy, it's a great opportunity to avoid all future headaches with anything like a pre-existing condition. The best part of my job, I, maybe it's better to tell a story to, to explain this. I woke up on a Saturday morning to an email um, I had a, at one of my hospitals in Vermont overnight, a dog, one of our clients' dogs had been hit by a car. 
and uh, it ended up in, in the ICU up in Burlington, Vermont, and the bill went extremely high. And I know that that, that probably wouldn't have turned out as well as it did if it hadn't been for my having spoken to that owner's vet months and months before and convincing the vet that it was a good idea for their pets to have pet insurance. So um, I'm glad that what I'm doing every day is having such an impact on not only the pets' lives but the families' lives too. And you know, it just it's a good feeling too when your when your work is actually having a deeper impact society-wide.